And here is an example that uh, Rich uh, touched on, and I got, this is the exact same board built with the same laminate by two different fab shops. And if you look at the loss curve here at eight gigahertz, it is minus 40 dB, and over here at eight gigahertz, it's minus 35. There's five dB of difference in that path just because of what the fab shop did to the copper. And this one here, had more loss and this this vendor did not qualify because of the way they were processing. It didn't matter what what Isola did with the material, the fab shop ruined the task, I mean ruined the board. So we're having dialogue now with uh, what's what's the best way to treat these these finishes and uh, how do I specify that so that I get it all the time. And here's a picture of that where this is the finish uh, of the copper coming from Isola. And this is what the, the, the fabricator did. You see how much rougher that is than that? Why did they do that? Well, we spent the last 30 years uh, uh, punishing vendors if the boards delaminate. And so one way that delamination happens if there's not a good bond, bond between the prepreg resin and the copper foil, so those who, you, you can tell which vendors have had this problem because they're very aggressive about how they roughen the copper. This vendor had not had that problem and so didn't do that. So we, we as an industry are having to change this whole way of looking at things and uh, we're not there yet. So what I do now, and I've got test boards that are in, they're built now, we're about ready to go test them, where we've built in one 16 layer board, we built three strip line layers with the smoothest finish here we can get and the smoothest finish there. And then the other th three layers in the same board have this kind of finish so that we can bracket what the worst and the best looks like in, in order to have some idea of what we can reasonably ask out of the process. Right now there is zero science that will help you with this. There's lots of people printing papers, but you know, anybody can write a paper. But, <laughs> There's no science yet that's dependable. So, and I've been doing this my whole career, and I didn't pass them around earlier, but uh, I haven't found good science ever. So, those of you who were in my class last week know that I build test boards all the time. Every time we push the envelope, I build a new one. So, this was 96. This one was. 99, and this one was 2001, and I don't have the rest of them with me, but, but we keep changing the rules, and so I have to keep making a new test board. And so that's some of the stuff that you guys can't build test boards, so I share my data with you in these classes. And when we're all done with this bunch of testing we're gonna do in July, I'll have a good idea how to specify roughness, finally. And I promise I will not tell any more blonde jokes. <laughs>